others were, in my opinion, almost at the point of rioting. I saw a group of young men, many wearing toweling hats, rock the truck on which the Prime Minister was standing. Labour supporters, many of them old women, scuffled with young farmers. One large ripe tomato whistled over the top of Mr Whitlam's head and splattered over the crowd. These were the scenes early in the meeting. The farmers continued to yell, no guts goff. The microphone cable was cut and police took no apparent action. Mr Whitlam obviously raised the ire of the hecklers when he called them cowards and bludgers. The worst scenes came towards the end when he stepped from the truck. I saw a group of men rush him and push him hard up against the truck. Police moved in, but the mob continued to press the Prime Minister hard against the truck. He obviously looked worried. As Mr. Mr Whitlam tried to move through the crowd, I saw him grabbed, kicked and scragged about the head and shoulders. The two mounted policemen tried hard to clear a path, but the crowd pressed hard against the Prime Minister. He eventually got to his car. There, several men banged on the roof and tried to stop it moving. It was one of the ugliest scenes I have ever seen an Australian Prime Minister endure.